so as usual all the links will be in the description box below so do not worry about that and uh, yeah hello guys Zanja here and in this video I'm going to show you guys marshmallow update and that is released by the developer i1 for the mi3 and this will work on the mi4 also and i have got the rom working and uh, everything is working so let me just show you that i have just installed this game that is need for speed no limits and it is working very fine play store is also working so if you just search for anything and if you try to install that so let's just install google now launcher and after some time it will get downloaded automatically so my Wi-Fi is slow or uh, yeah let's forget that so let me just go into settings and show you the about phone option so as you can see the android version is 6.0 so this is a new game in which if you just fail you get a 3 second uh, delay to play the game it's like pretty stock build there are few additions that i1 has done like for recent tasks right now you have to long press the option button but you can change it from here you can just select this and select recent app switcher so by pressing once you can just go to the recent apps list and there are not many customization options that are available right now but you can do the customizations by yourself and for that and to do that hold on the settings button over here and it will start rotating as you can see it is rotating right now so as you can see congrats system UI tuner has been added to your settings so and just scroll down and you will get something as system UI tuner over here and it will say fun for some but not for all and it is going to be fun for us so he got it and from here you can change the quick settings toggle like if you want do not disturb to be over here then you can do that if you want just Wi-Fi wi to be over here then you can do that also so you can simply just change the quick settings styles position and there is new option in android marshmallow that is you can change the status bar things so if you do not want the wi-fi logo to be shown over here because you know that wi-fi is always on for you then you can simply disable that and it won't be shown and show embedded battery percentage this can be enabled so here is the battery percentage which is 10 percent right now and uh, yeah the camera is not picking that up and if we go into demo mode even if we enable demo mode i don't know what happens so if you guys know about this demo mode then do let me know about that in the comment section below and the dose mode which uh, you must have heard about is perfectly working on mi3 so as you can see the device was idle for this much time it was from 3 pm to almost 4 30 to 5 pm and the device was awake only once over here and rest of the time the device was in sleep state so basically the dose mode is also working on mi3 and that's a good thing once again screen on time is just 31 minutes uh, that's not much because i have not used the device that much if you just long press on the home screen and then go into settings you can select allow rotation and make sure that uh, rotation is allowed from the quick settings toggle also and it will rotate the screen on the home screen also and that, this is surely a very nice feature because in Google Now Launcher, this feature is not available. That let's open the Need for Speed Limits game and let's see how it works on the MI3 with Android Marshmallow. So the race has started and it seems that the graphics are running very smoothly without any issues. So let's see how the game works. The sound output is little low uh, as compared to MIUI ROMs but considering the first build of Marshmallow it's perfectly fine and I'm pretty much sure that in future uh, i1 will fix that bug and uh, the sound will also be very good. Let's see and yes the gaming performance is also very good no issues with that and uh, yeah overall in performance i did not face a single issue and yeah one more feature which is uh, you might not see that is in recent task list you will not see a clear all button uh, directly that is present over here uh, when you just scroll up you will see the clear all button over here and just press that and all the applications will be gone so let me just show you the most important thing uh, right now for this rom is that how to install this rom because many of you are facing a problem with google apps and google apps are not working for you then this video is for you so let's get started and and for the first time in my entire life with mi3 uh, rather one year 
I am using TWRP recovery to flash the ROM because I always always used CWM recovery R8 CWM recovery for Cancro I use that so to go into the TWRP recovery switch off your device then hold the volume up button and the power button together until and unless you see the MI logo so as you can see we have booted into the TWRP recovery and uh, first thing you should do is back up the current ROM so that if anything goes wrong and if Google apps are not working for you then you can simply restore this backup and you will come back to the stock ROM or, or whichever ROM you are using earlier and after you back up go into wipe select advanced factory reset go back select install select the AOSP Cancro ROM and uh, the steps are exactly similar for MI4 so do not worry just follow the exact same steps for MI4 also and if you do not have TWRP recovery in your device then I'll give the link of TWRP recovery in the description box below and you can even flash the TWRP recovery through the flashify application by extracting the dot image file from the TWRP zip file all the required steps to flash TWRP recovery will be given in the description box below but if you still have any doubts regarding that then do let me know I'll surely try to answer your queries and the flashing of the ROM takes a very long time so just wait for the ROM to get flashed so the ROM installation is successful now it's time to install gaps packages so select the gaps packages which will be linked in the description box below select those gaps packages only because other gaps packages which are made for Android M are not working on this ROM do select the given gaps package only And after the gaps installation is completed or G apps installation is completed if you want to root the ROM then you can install super SU zip from uh, TWRP recovery but I do not want to root the ROM as of now so I'll just select reboot and select system and now the ROM will boot into the 6.0 marshmallow ROM and uh, there are few things that we will need to do after this also because it will be like you will get few force closes so yeah I'll just show you when the ROM boots up so as you can see we have booted into the ROM successfully and I got the Google Play services error uh, like the four stop error few times but it just went away automatically so I'll just keep away everything right now because I want to show you guys if you get the error continuously then what to do and make sure that you use the gas packages which are linked in the description box below otherwise yeah you will get uh, this error google play services error which came and went automatically by its own but if you keep on getting the error of google play services at stop then simply go into settings uh, just press ok on that then and go into settings select apps over here then go to google play services which are installed and uh, google play services are over here then select permissions permissions is over here and after enabling all the permissions over here I was able to get through the uh, four stop error and I did not get this error afterwards as you saw earlier like the first part of the video in which I did that so in the complete video or uh, in those complete 10 minutes I did not get that error even for a single time because I had enabled all the permissions over here so yeah this is it for this video guys thank you for watching and actually I was going to do videos on Moto X style which I have and the Moto X Play and I even have the Mi headphones, the main headphones, not the earphones, the small ones, not the big ones headphones. I recorded those videos but I will not upload those videos first because MI3 has got marshmallow update and nothing is better than MI3 in this whole world. Not whole world but yeah, it's my device, my daily driver so obviously I had to do this video. So yeah, don't, and yeah, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and let's see if we can reach triple two likes on this video and if you have any doubts or suggestions or queries regarding this video or this rom and if you want to come to know about any feature then do let me know about that in the comment section below and yes as of now the camera is broken but people are saying that you can just skip through the camera error by installing color os camera or many things like that everything like that if there is any solution then that will be in the comment section below or that will be in the description box so do check that out so yeah, this is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already even after having MI3 or MI4, then that's quite surprising. Do hit that subscribe button because MI3 will be supported all the time. So because of which MI4 is also supported on this channel. So yeah, do hit that subscribe button. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching. I was expecting a lot from these earphones because these are the successor to the Xiaomi MI Pistons version 2.1. 
which were already very very good so i was pretty excited to check out the new things that are added in the xiaomi mi pistons version 3 and i have to say that i am surely impressed by xiaomi's work